This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to transfer your custom textures from one Substance Painter file to another. There are a couple of things that will cause this to not work though. So first off, your UVs need to be the same. So to check that, you can hit F3 on your keyboard to take a look at the UVs to check to make sure that they are the same. If you're using one of my avatars, I tend to try not to change the UVs, so they should hopefully be in the same spot. The next thing that will cause this to not work is if the meshes are in different locations. So this might still work, but there might be some errors or it might just not work entirely. So I do have a couple of versions of my files where I've moved the meshes around. So if you take a look at the avatars, if they are in completely different spots, it might give you some errors or it might not work entirely. The last thing that will cause this to not work is if your Substance Painter version from the file you're trying to transfer from, so in this case, the file we're transferring from is this one with the pink wolf, and the file we're transferring to is gonna be this one here with the gray wolf. So if this file here is uh, a newer version of Substance Painter than this one here, you won't be able to do this. So this file needs to be either older or the same version as the file you're trying to transfer to. So how we're gonna do this is pretty simple. We're just gonna right click on a folder and then hit create smart material. The folder that uh, the folder that you right click on will be created into a smart material. So all of these layers here will be able to be transferred. So if you don't want all of these layers, uh, just put the layers that you would like into a separate folder. I'm gonna create this folder into a smart material and we're gonna give this a name because we're gonna have to search for this material in your new Substance Painter file. So give it a name that you remember. You can call this Wolf Transfer. Right click on that and then select Create Smart Material. So now this is going to be a smart material and you'll see it pop up right here. You shouldn't have to do anything other than head over to your new Substance Painter file. And then we're gonna hit show all here. And now we're gonna search for Wolf Transfer. And here it is. Now we just need to drag this in. This might take a second to load depending on how many layers you're transferring. So it doesn't look quite right, but that's because these layers should be moved down beneath some of these other layers here. So because these are just for the body, I'm going to put these all the way down at the bottom here. So all of these layers will be on top. All right, now it looks normal. And that's how you transfer your textures from one Substance Painter file to another. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.